Lots of worries as a new parent. There has to be obviously some nerves when it comes to every single thing that you use on your baby or that you feed her. Yes. How much goes into your thought process on what products you use? Quite a bit, mm -hmm. right? So I try to check the blogs, I talk to other moms, I do my Googling. The everyday decisions parents make to keep their children safe. Have you seen ingredients on labels where immediately you put that product down? If there are just too many eights and eights and things I can't pronounce, I usually don't purchase it. Well, you probably trust that products made for babies would be gentle and free from anything harsh or potentially dangerous, or well, particularly from some of the most well-known and trusted brands on the market for children. You're so worried. You want to always make sure you're doing the right thing for your kids, but our Rhonda Walker found out that's not necessarily the case. So she joins us now with the concerns and the concerning findings from a recent consumer's report from the home of a Detroit family. I'm here with eight-month-old Sydney and Sydney's mom, Dana. Um, what goes into your decision on the types of baby products you use, particularly on Sydney's skin? I want something, of course, that I know that's a brand name um, that typically doesn't have a whole lot of extra things in it and that maybe other moms have even recommended. Mm -hmm. So if I told you that some of the top brands on the market have some ingredients that may be linked to cancer, <laughs> that would make me very nervous um, and I would want to look immediately into what those ingredients were so that I could perhaps think about using some new products. So there is a Consumer Reports list of some of the top 10 brands on the market. Johnson & Johnson, Aveeno, uh, Dove, some of the products that you know and probably trust but have some surprising and concerning ingredients. A baby's skin can't regulate moisture as well as in adults, so parents often purchase special baby lotions to help meet their unique needs. Consumer Reports and fellow nonprofit organization Made Safe examined the ingredients of several popular baby lotions. What we want to identify are ingredients that are concerned to human health. Of the 13 baby lotions, seven of these brands had the most concerning ingredients. Aquaphor, Aveeno, Burt's Bees, CeraVe, Dub, Eucerin, and yes, Johnson's. Ingredients to avoid are ones that are potentially linked to cancer, such as preservatives like phenoxyethanol and polysorbate. Additionally, petroleum ingredients, including mineral oil and paraffin. Also with petroleum products, they don't break down in the environment. Consumer Reports reached out to the makers of all seven brands and none responded. Another potential issue? fragrances and dyes. They can both be hiding hundreds of other ingredients that don't have to get listed on the label. Fragrances and dyes in personal care products and cosmetics are considered trade secrets in the U.S., which means they can keep the ingredients confidential, but could be linked to health concerns like cancer and endocrine disruption. Lotions with safer ingredients include California Baby Super Sensitive Everyday Lotion and Earth Mama Simply Nonsense Baby Lotion. These lotions may be pricier because natural ingredients cost more than synthetically produced ones. But since you only need to use lotion when your baby's skin is dry, it might be worth the extra money. So Dove is a product, you said it's a brand name, it's a brand you know and one you feel safe with, but now it's time to look at the label. All right, so when I look at this label, I see fragrances, I see that phenoxyethanol, I see the petroleums, all items that aren't good for Sydney's skin. And so now, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. um, clearly she knows and likes it too. She's reaching for the product, but we're gonna have to look for something new. A little bit more natural products that, uh, and ingredients that I can pronounce and that are just simpler. So what happens to this one? I'm done. <laughs> we'll leave it here. And lastly, Dana and Sydney, Consumer Reports also tested all 10 of these brands for lead, toxic contaminants. And the good news there is none were found. Very good. <laughs> I, know. I scared you enough, right? Yes. All right. I'll let you guys go. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow morning, are you in the market for a car for a teen driver? Consumer Reports is out with a new list of the safest vehicles. So I'm going to take a ride with 16-year-old Jamison Douglas to talk with her and her mom about the most important safety features that went into the vehicle that she's driving. Hi, Jamison. Hi. 